Hey there, beautiful people. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. We're in the next episode of Firmament, and I'm very, very excited to play it for you. Uh, it's been about a month, probably, since I played it last, and that's usually how things go, unfortunately, with me in gameplays. I own my own business. We're cranking as fast as we can to get the business afloat and make it work, and uh, it's quite an experience and quite an amazing time of my life. But yes, it's very time-consuming. In saying that, let's get into the game without first saying thanks to these amazing people. First off, Tony Allen and Sean Hammond. These guys are incredible. Uh, and then my Dorca historians and early access historians. When I haven't been here, they've stuck around. And you guys are all absolutely incredible for supporting my channel. It does mean a lot to me because of you guys. Um, frankly, I get a paycheck every other month uh, right now that shows your extreme support for whatever I create, which is unbelievable. So thank you so very much for that, truly. Uh, let's get into the game, because I know why you're here. Firmament is a game that must be played. Uh, and yes, we have a lot to figure out next. Last we stopped this game, we had gone through here, donned on our suit. I'm going to go ahead and just do it again here real quick. And let's see. Donned on our suit, our bulwark kit. And that's freaky. That's really freaky. The lighting, everything is just so cool in this game. I mean, just how cool is this? All right, we're going to take one more look through here just to see if there's something that I might have missed um, in Mist since last time we played. And I'm sorry for being a little bit quieter. Um, my wife is trying to sleep. The time now is almost 10 o'clock uh, in the evening. And uh, she's a nurse and works very early hours. And so, yes, I apologize if I'm not as excitable because sh she's trying to sleep. So, <laughs> when we came through here last time, and I think I remember I preferred to just walk through here. I really struggled with trying to figure out how to get to an, a, another area further back. And the thing I find interesting is, okay, that's activated right now. I have a cavitation hammer. You hit R to use your cavitation hammer. And I think I've only used it two or three times. I've barely used it, quite frankly. So it really confuses me because it feels slightly underused. So if I take a look over here, this at a certain point in time, I think deactivates, and I'm not sure when, but I think I've had it deactivate on me when I've tried other things further up. And saying that, let's head further up. Now all these heaters are on right now, as they should be, I believe. This is the exit out. Now, down below, there wasn't any additional exits or anything, right? I don't see any kind of exits further down. So, let's keep climbing. Keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And if we look up here, we can see this is all activated. Even the heater bars here are activated. Um, and the coil right there is activated. Now, are they there to make sure that I can't... This is interesting. Do you see this? I can't activate that one because those heater coils are there. That's very interesting. I wonder if that's an, a factor. I don't think so, but still it's something I'm noticing. Could I use a cavitation hammer on this? No. And so, like I said, it just it seems like an underutilized tool. And then when you get to here, you cannot get past here unless you deactivate um, one of these power nodes. Or I think it's this. I think that there's a... Oh, what's this? See, it's unpressurized. So it needs to be pressurized before it can have anything done. So if I come over here and I deactivate this one... Okay... So I closed it, right? So now it's turned off everything, including 
the line all the way down there, which stinks, because then if I want that, I have to go back and do that again. But in saying that, it depressurized it, so now I can get through here. But this is still unpressurized, and I feel like the line... Well, I can't really say where that line goes. I'm hoping that I'm coming back with a fresher set of eyes. See, I can turn this back on now, but I don't know if it'll do anything. Okay, so I can repressurize it, which will then bring this back up. This right here, I don't think I can do anything with it still. Yeah. So, let's go up a little higher. See, I wonder if a cavitation unit can work there. Nothing here, right? It's a beastly little hammer. So... Oh, what if I do this? I'm pretty sure I've already done this. But let's have a look-see. Now that that's powered down... Interesting, now that that's powered down. I would wonder what would happen. It'd be cool if I just solved this without even trying, but I doubt it. Yeah, still unpressurized. And I would need to depressurize this one to get by. Now that I've done that, now I can come down here and let me try this. Let me reactivate this line down here. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. I have literally gotten sick playing this game. You can see, ooh. See how it's marked as unpressurized now, though. That's interesting. Why is it unpressurized? This must be the puzzle. This must be the puzzle. Hmm. Okay, so... I'm gonna leave that as it stands. This one, if I reactivate it... Open. And I can't get to that one down there, right? Isn't it over there? Like, really over there? Which would need to be more... Oh, what are you? Uh, nothing's happening there. And no cavitation? Nope. So... When we get to the top here... This is technically not activated yet. And you see this? See that one right there? It's frozen. Oh, look at that. I just I just opened it up. But I can't hit it. But I did just open it up. That's the first time I've that's new. That's very new. Interesting. Okay. How would I activate it? I would need to get rid of this first. And I can't get rid of this. See, it won't let me do that. Can I walk around here? See, there's that one over there, but you're not going to let me get to that one. I can't jump down on that. See, it's all on this fence... No pressure, but it's interesting that I can get there. Okay. So, I did just figure out one little new thing, which is nice. Look at this. There's something inside this, inside here. But I can't get in here.
can't get in there yet. But that is... Oh, oh, that's a heater. So it makes sense that you would turn that on, but you can't turn that on unless the water line or the, the pressure line is activated. So that's not going to do us much good. And what pressurized line are we trying to work? We can't do anything over there, though we can reach it. Oh. Unpressurized. Of course you are. So... Um... Okay. Part of me thinks that I might have stumbled upon something new, which I did, but in the same breath, um, I don't know if I've stumbled upon something that's going to help me continue. Let's find out. Let's do this, and we're going to close that. Okay. Now we're going to need to reactivate this line here. Right there. So, no, not you. Down there, this one. Open. Now I shouldn't be able to get to that one anymore. Okay, so, if that's there, now I should be able to pressurize the line down here. Still unpressurized. That's interesting. Why would it be unpressurized? This isn't something that would help with that, is it? I don't think so, but no pressure. So what activates that pressure? Hmm. You know what? It's this. So I can turn that on which will then activate these. Yep, see? Now, this one, though, is not active. But look at that. It activates going into the wall. Why would you want to pressurize it going into the wall? Hmm. Is there something important about this line? heaters there. Let's go back. And I need to be paying pretty close attention. To what this will let me activate from down here. So I can't get through here without deactivating this line. Which then deactivates all the lines. And I have no way to trigger that from down there. Now... If I could get rid of this, then I might have more of a opportunity. There's the cage. right below me. That is... Hmm. Okay, that's the one that I need to hit. But there's no way to do it. Unless it's something where I can jump from one to the next. 
Oh, would that be possible? Because if I was to go and shoot in a different direction and then shoot that one, that's interesting. That's an interesting thought. Are any of these in a place where they could help me bounce off? just need to hit that one and that would take care of well I'm not sure what it would take care of but the theory is a sound one if I could find a place to okay that's blocked up there hmm <sighs> excuse me Usually if I start yawning, it means I'm starting to get dizzy, which is an unfortunate status of events. Um, can't shoot anything else. though. Open. That's the one I was missing. That is the one that I just fixed. That's the one that I used the cavitation hammer on. That is it. So it's now powered. Okay, we are technically heading the right direction now. That can be on. Hey, all right, we're making progress. Okay, this is great. This is great. Okay, um, now, there is a heater unit in here that I can't get to. Um, and it's a good thing I was able to do that, but I still am faced with a pretty serious situation. I can deactivate this. Now that stayed on. Interesting. What am I missing next? Because I've activated that one. You? You. It's not going to let me get it from here. Okay. Um, and did deactivating this previous line cause that? I don't think so, but... This wouldn't work with this now, would it? Okay. Not quite. I like that I got that turned on, though. I guess the question would be, let me go back down, because maybe the changes that I made with that heater affected something further down. That would make sense to me. So let me quickly skedaddle down here. Nice that that's already deactivated, so I can see what's going on. This is new-ish, maybe? I can't tell. I think, I think that might be new-ish. Oh, what about the elevator? There is an elevator here somewhere. Um, okay. So this, technically, I don't think can be activated anymore, and I don't think it needs to be activated anymore. That can't be activated because it's not pressurized. So, there's an elevator around here. Let me come down here, and we're going to circle around this way. Okay. Nothing over here, right? Nothing over here. Not entirely sure what the point is of coming over here, but still, I think we're doing okay. 
Um, okay, elevator, elevator. Where is the elevator? Is this it? Okay, so you see this. Can't do anything with it. Can't activate it. And I can't tell where that line goes yet. The situation is pretty bleak for this, unless I can find the heater for it. That's interesting. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. So the elevator is still deactivated for right now. Now, there's a heater up there. Oh. Open. So, I can't really tell what I just opened. I can't shoot that heater up there. It's too far away. This heater is off. That is on. That one is on. Oh. Wait a minute. No. Hold, please. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so what the theory is now, possibly... Hmm... Would be that I would need to activate... That heater isn't working. This heater isn't working. I did that on purpose. Uh, that doesn't quite make sense. Let me see what's going on here. That one isn't opened. This one now is powered up down to here. So this one can be powered up. Okay. So let me go check back over here. Nothing going there. So, I've already activated these guys, right? So, if I turn this heater on... Okay. Nothing here. Nope. Okay. This one... could be turned on, but that's not the point. The point I need is a heater... Well, maybe it is this heater that I need turned on, if that theory was sound, which I don't think it is in this situation. Because if it was, it would be doing some pretty serious damage right now, and it is not doing a thing. So I think I've just backtracked, unfortunately. So there needs to be another heater elsewhere along this wall that can take care of the trouble around the elevator, which maybe this is part of that? Okay. Nothing over here except this. So... Hmm... Let's go up. Our first situation that we're gonna face as we continue our climb yet again is that we're gonna bump into... Okay, that's activated. We're gonna bump into... Looking to see if there's anything I've missed, or extra stuff that has melted that then lets me have more control. 
this moment I'm not seeing that. Hello. Unpressurized. Okay, but look at where that is. That would be perfect. So I need to figure out how to get that pressurized. Now, this one needs to be depressurized. Close. That way I can get through. Nothing up here, right? Nope, not pressurized. So let's go through here. I'm going to leave that unpressurized for the moment. Because everything above is pressurized, which would be good for the lines further up here that need to be activated. I don't see anything here that can be activated with my adjunct. So... Why isn't that heater on? I must have deactivated that for some reason by accident. So look at this big ice cube here. There's that one up there. What is this? Blocked. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That seems like a, a game flaw to me. <laughs> okay, so we activated that one. Already. Anything up over here? At this moment, I'm cheating, more or less, and utilizing the... Unpressurized. Heater's on. That one is unpressurized, so I need to figure out how to get that pressure to there. This line causes that. It goes up there. And looks like there's a line for a heater there. This one. Huh. Not what I told you to do. Is there a reason why I want this head deactivated? Interesting. This is the line I need active, but I can't exactly tell where it's going. I feel like it's going up instead of down. Oh! Okay, no, that's not going to do anything. I think we've already decided that because it's unpressurized. We know that for a fact because there's no lights coming out of it. No uranium-style lights. So... There's nothing over there. What is missing? Oh. See, that one's unpressurized too, but that's another one that I didn't realize was there. So, technically, the... <sighs> Look at that. That heater is right there. If I can figure out how to turn on those lines, I've found my way up, per se. Hmm. But there's no pressure. And this is where I'm like, do I need to go outside somewhere and deactivate another line somewhere else to make this work? I, that part is the part where I'm confused. Now, I've been able to activate this area and send energy up through here. But from that pipe moving up, I am so glad you can't fall off stuff in this game. Um, from that going up, I cannot tell what to do next. Interesting that that has the pistons on it. So if I was to activate that, those pistons would open up on this side. Um, but there's no path over here, as far as I can tell. Now, 
Let's see about reactivating some of these panels again. Open. So is that going to send it up here? Good. It's going up. And somewhere up there... How high up does it go? Um, I have perfectly put that in my way. This is probably not going to work yet. Nope. But look at that. Did you see that? I can go from there over to there. So technically that might come in handy a little bit later too. Which then makes me wonder, could I do that? No, I guess you would need pressure to do that. No pressure here, which is why we could do this. But that doesn't help us with this line. Okay. Unpressurized. No pressure. No pressure. I'm feeling pressure, but um, that doesn't seem to be assisting in this situation. Now, here's the thing. There is... The line's going up that way. So I'm assuming that somewhere here, mainly on this row, and I think that might be it right over there that I can't see. Ah, wait a minute. It's unpressurized, but can at least let me can it let me shoot the pressurized version? No? Because I was wondering if this one over here could assist me in shooting that one. But no, of course there's a fence above it. They're making sure of that. And that one's too far. And there's nothing powered to it. I just keep seeing this little light popping up over here while I'm doing this. Right there. That's the one that I've already tried to trigger. Yeah. What benefit would I have of turning off all the lines from this point? And just turning on the line down below. I don't think that that would do me any good because there's no line and no pressure in those lines anymore. So is there a way to deactivate this row? No, I don't want to open it. I want to close it. And I don't know why I want to close it. It's just the theory that I have right now. 
I mean, right now. That's off, but it is pressurized. This one, however, is as well. Okay. The level of confusion I am experiencing is rather high. Unpressurized. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know I could do that. Okay, hang on. Change plans. Reactivate things. Everything. Like, reactivate stuff. That is... Oh, come on. No pressure, but let's get things repressurized, and maybe that will change things. Um... Can I reach this one? The answer is yes. Okay. Um, please work. Please work. Please, 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 please work. I'm begging you. Oh, it's not going to work. Because that's not pressurized. So that's not going to do me any good. Um, is this where I was trying? Yeah, right here. No pressure. Oh, so close and yet so far. What is the secret? Unpressurized. I really don't want it to be something out of here, but... In this case, it may be. Hmm. And I kind of feel like you're supposed to do this in waves. You do you deactivate the lower levels to activate the higher levels, would be my theory. See, this one isn't on right now. So, this one, open, to this one, no. Interesting that this one, does it ever come on? I don't recall. This one is the one I was thinking of. Okay. And actually, now that I say that, reactivating this is a good thing because the puzzle, I assume, is how do you get past this? Well, if you were able to activate some of the lines that we were trying to get to, then you could use the elevator, maybe, and you wouldn't need to go that way. So how do we proceed with that knowledge in mind? Let's see if there's any... Okay, that's the heater. Now, the benefit of turning on the heater is that it helps you see very slightly. So, that's the only reason why I'm reactivating these heaters. What is this? Just a heater? Yeah, it's a heater. Okay. So that line goes that way. Climbs up through there. This line here is probably the one that we actually care about. Here is the elevator. And the heater there. This one has nothing going to it yet. This, though. <laughs> okay. What did we just get? What did we just do? What did we just do? We just did something, didn't we? 
Did we? Or did we not? I'm gonna turn this back on. I don't know. I feel like that might have done something. Um... So this is open, which is what I want. That's all good. Maybe I've already done that before, but it felt new. <laughs> it doesn't help when it feels new. Oh, there you go. Look at this. Perfect. <laughs> okay. All right. So maybe I don't need to unlock this, or maybe I can unlock it now. Um, what would happen if I tried to unlock it now? If it deactivates all that other stuff, then I know what's going on. Jackpot. <laughs> Sweet. I think we're going to do something, actually. Finally, maybe kind of, sort of. Okay, let's find out. So we're going to run up here. Um, oh, man. I think... I think we're making some serious progress here. Yes, that's activated. Oh my land. Okay, we have pressure. This is good. This is good. Okay, so now I need to get to, I need to get to um, that one, which was back this way. Oh, I'm excited now. I'm excited now. Where was it? It was down here, I think, right here, right in here. Come on. Come to daddy. Oh, come on. Yes. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, trying to keep my voice down still, but yes, things just got exciting. Oh, my land. So, no. Thankfully, that it does not seem to be that I have to do anything outside of this yet to continue. And saying that, folks, we are at 42 minutes, so now would be the proper time to end this. But I will be back. Uh, keep it crispy, my friends. First Tim 412, folks. You are amazing people. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos, no matter what kind of content they are. Um, this is a ch uh, channel about my life. This is a channel about my business. This is a channel about what I enjoy doing. And one of the things I enjoy doing is making you laugh, is making you smile, is having fun with you. So I hope that I've brought that to you, to you uh, today in this episode. I will be back. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.